Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Chaos Galaxy and his hard rock and soundtrack here. Um, it is by Hanju. Hanju? I hope I've said that pr properly. And uh, several other names uh, that I could not pronounce because they're in Chinese uh, characters. Uh, at least it looks like that anyway. Um, might be Japanese too. I, I don't know. I, I can't I can't really tell. Um, but this is a free demo out on Steam right now. Um, like an early peak peak C of their game that is scheduled to come out in June of this year. I don't know if it's coming out to early access or if it's coming out fully. I, I don't have that information. But uh, for right now, you can at least take a look at the at the early demo here. Uh, 0 0.9, as you can see on your screen. It's a um, grand strategy, turn-based grand strategy game um, with uh, some tactical combat as well. It's space-based. Um, and as you can probably guess, it's got kind of a anime um, feel to it. Uh, I have not played any of it. So we're about to pop in and see what is... What is going on with this, friends? So, without further ado, uh, I don't know what even collection is. I think there's some card mechanics in here. I don't know what any of that is. Uh, uh, it's, okay, hero units, I guess. All right, never mind. Um, anyway, let's 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 begin. Okay, and there's something like 14 different factions, so I have no idea who to pick. Um, other than North Sky Fleet, like right away, I'm like, oh yeah, that's kind of nice. We got North Sky Fleet. Um, with his leader, Li Cheng Song. Uh, difficulty normal. Okay, I see. So I should probably pick something that's got a relatively low difficulty. Since I haven't played before. Um, East Ocean Fleet. Oh, it's marking it on the map here too. So here's where they're at. East Ocean Fleet. Type Imperial. They're Haiyang. Hung Yang. Uh, South East. South Even Fleet. Gold Supply. Four Planets. They all have about the same gold and supply. And different unique units. A Nuke Mega Ship. Tiger Warrior, Class Raider, Headsman. Alright, Prestige 300, Plan 4 Imperial, West Wastes Fleet, South Sea Guild. Has more gold and supply, but apparently the difficulty is hard. Other oh, Trader. Different basic arms and different random. Oh, that's why they're hard, because they're only like trade ships, probably. I see it. Imperial is normal because these ships are probably have some good weapons on them, I bet. Also, yeah, there are mechs. So, um, East Galaxy Corp. Also a trader. Okay. And Mishi Pirates. Difficulty hell. <laughs> well, I mean, don't mince words here. Uh, I guess it's so difficult because we, all you've got are like mechs pretty much. And you've got one... Missile ship. Okay. Kurushima pirates. Palakor. They are mercenaries. I think the mercenaries would not be difficulty hell, but all right. Uh, like Cargus Corps. Area assassins. Type Sandmen. Uh, okay. Black Caliph Jihad, also Sandman, the Mosey Order, Omnic. What the hell are any of these types mean? <laughs> I don't know what these types mean. Um, holy crap. Omnic Apocalypse. Uh, it's also hard difficulty. All right, so I guess we're going to do normal difficulty. Um... I mean, I, I was kind of drawn to the North Sky Fleet because I like their color and, and insignia and stuff, so maybe we'll just take them. 
Um, they, they have less prestige though, right? To deal with. Yeah, they have the same prestige as South Even Fleet. But the East Ocean Fleet has more, slightly more prestige. What about their units? They have Iron Cavalry, Wolf Class Battleship, Joko Nu, and Alkalaid Lance Megaship. What do you have? You've only got one mech. You've got a submarine, Swordmaster, a light, uh, a Luna class cruiser, and another submarine. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's just do. Oh, here we go. View the background story. That's what I was looking for. Uh, the Lee family has been in charge of the North Sky Fleet for more than 200 years. However, the North Sky Fleet suffered heavy losses in the war against the aliens and the War of Tosho. Currently, the new Admiral Li Chengsong has been ordered to destroy the Amishi pirates who have been invading North Sky Sector. He is determined to use any and all tactics to protect the North Sky Sector and restore his family's time's reputation. Okay. How about you? Hong Yang, the Admiral of East Ocean Fleet, who have made great achievements in the alien impact in the War of Tosho, guarding the most prosperous Imperial territory of East Galaxy. That was a run on sentence. The whole Imperial military circle called Hung Yang Queen of the East Ocean in awe of her prowess. At the moment, she is facing a stubborn resistance of the Kurashima pirates, which is being fueled by the vast amounts of money supplied by their secret backers. Well, obviously English is not their first language, so we're going to need to get a good translator, I think. Um, in the Tosha War, the Admiral of South Even Fleet was assassinated by a ninja. Tiger Hill, the chief of the Mecha troops, took over the command of fleet. During the war, he carried out unbridled nuclear bombings and massacres under the plan of Chen Wantai. Uh, the chief of staff, Tiger Hill, plundered wealth through brutal means, greatly enhanced his forces, and became a dominant semi-independent tyrant in the South Empire. Okay. I'm not going to read all of them, but I just wanted to read those three to see what, what the difference was. Um, I think I'm still going to go with North Sky Fleet, because they're going against those other pirates that we saw. So, uh, let's do that. GE-1012. The first alien impact occurred. The great beast named Pale Dragon by the Imperial Observatory, leading millions of alien beasts across the galaxy, destroyed thousands of worlds of the Empire. The Emperor led 100,000 warships of the Great Fleet to fight the alien hordes through the Pale Dragon. Though the Pale Dragon was beaten and was driven into the void, the Emperor herself was killed, and the Great Fleet lost more than half of its elite, with the Empire greatly weakened many vassals. Yeah, I can't read that that fast. <laughs> I'll just let you guys read it because I it's going by way too fast for my for my own um, eyeballs here. <sighs> okay. GE ten twenty the Empire is riddled with gaps. A new alien scourge may come to the turbulent galaxy at any time, but this time there won't be a United Empire to against it. To against it. Huh? The future of the galaxy has fallen into endless chaos. Under the leadership of, of admirals of the Lee family, the North Sky Fleet has the most powerful lands battleship group in the whole empire. They've made numerous achievements and enjoyed a great reputation for more than 200 years. But in the first alien impact, in order to win time to allow the empire to gather a great fleet, the North Sky Fleet stood on the front line alone to block the Pale Dragon's hive hordes. Admiral Lee Rudong fought to a heroic death and the fleet lost half of its forces. In the subsequent war against Tosho, the North Sky Fleet was caught in an ambush of the Shogunate in the Sh Shushima asteroid belts due to the Imperial Court's wrong information. The fleet was defeated and the Admiral Li Ruhoi? 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 I feel like I'm clearing my throat here. Was deposed by the Imperial Court. Under the horrendous nuclear annihilation strategy of Lord Wen Chang, the war minister, the Tosho Shogunate was destroyed, but the Shogunate rem remnants spread into the surrounding sectors as pirates, burning and sacking everywhere. <laughs> I know I like to sack everywhere. <laughs> 
You can't see if I'm wearing pants. You don't know if I'm sacking now. Among them, a pirate group burst into the North Sky Sector. Its leader was Bontan Ma- Maru, the f- famous commander that once ambushed North Sky Fleet on the Shushima. The new admiral of North Sky Fleet is Li Cheng Song, son of Li Rudong, and only 25 years old. With the ruined fleet, the new commander without any military achievements, and the fragmented sector, the 200 years of prestige of the Lee family of North Sky are now gone. Okay, yeah, they really need a they need a good English translator to f- fix some of these sentence fragments. This day, the war minister Lord Wen Chang comes from Shendu, face expressionless as he abruptly arrives in the North Sky fleet headquarters with an imperial command. I am War Minister Wen Chang. Where is Li Cheng Song? I am glad to meet your excellency. I am Li Cheng Song, the North Sky Admiral. You have the appearance of an unworldly toff. I have heard that pirates have ransacked nearly half of the planets in the North Sky sector, but the North Sky fleet has not engaged them in a major battle. As a result of the losses of the previous two wars, I found that only 30% of the ships in Mecca were still intact, with a few spare parts and supplies and very few experienced crew members and mecha pilots. So far, our fleet has been repairing weapons, concentrating supplies, and recruiting personnel as quickly as possible. Admiral Lee did not avoid war cowardly. I belong to the planetary defense troops of Lao Yang. Last month, when the Emishi pirates attacked Lao Yang in a big way, They attacked in a big way. It was the Admiral Li who led a small fleet to encircle the pirates from behind, causing them fall into panic and retreat. Them to fall. Uh, Thus saving Lao Yang, which would otherwise have been doomed to fall. Hmm. An Imperial Sector fleet, using deceptive military deployment to deal with pirates. It really is a shame for the glory of the Imperial Army. Sorry, I will not let the Amishi pirates run rampant again. Now that 70% of our fleet's preparations have been completed. Man, this guy loves his percentages. We are about to draw up military plans for a decisive battle against the pirates. I don't like fractions, only percentages. Very good. That's why I came to this frontier world. The court has ordered your fleet to begin attacking the pirates immediately and to wipe out the barbarian pirates within three years. You must not allow these pirates... These pirates to escape to any other sectors. The term is three years. If you cannot completely wipe out the Amishi pirates by January 1023, the Imperial Court will deem that the North Sky fleet is no longer capable of guarding the North Sky. They'll issue an order to abolish your fleet and change the North Sky sector into the Imperial Court's sovereign territory. <laughs> what? Abolish the North Sky fleet. The North Sky fleet has been in the hands of your Lee family for more than 200 years. Although it once played an important role, it seems to be in decline now. By then, the War Department will have redefined the sectors and guard fleets, and of course, there will be a decent end for you. You can rest assured of that. I guess he's going to have to fall on a sword. Minister, please do not worry. The North Sky fleet was only temporarily defeated. Now that the strength of the fleet has gradually recovered, I will lead the fleet to eliminate Amishi pirates and revive the 200-year-old martial prestige of North Sky fleets. Oh, that's not bad. I have... <laughs> I love this exchange. Like, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> sure, just just tell me. Just tell me how, how you really feel. Um, I have communicated the order of the court to you. The recent mercenary riot in the... F- RC sector will demand my full attention. So in this three-year period, Li Cheng Song, just do your best. <laughs> That's all we can ask you to do, is just do, just do your best. The Li family of North Sky will fulfill the mission. Accept the special task of three years' time limit. Destroy Amishi. Uh, destroy a faction of Amishi pirates. This reward game clear. Failure penalty game over. Great. I'm going. Okay. I'm actually kind of into this story here. I, I, I like this. 36 months, man. Um, so what the hell do I do? <laughs> I have show help on. 
uh, policy. Reorganize fleet, more warships, enhance mecha, destroy pirates. Level one. What does that mean? Each faction has a series of different policies which can get new unit blueprints, improve the effects of the military, diplomatic, uh, and increase the income of gold and supply. Diplomacy, make various diplomatic activities with other factions. Manage the plants of your faction, of our faction, appoint the governor and develop the plants. Appoint a commander as a counselor or marshal or banish a commander. And what is this? Next month, so heart is reputation. Okay, that's our reputation. Reputation and credibility of this faction. It can improve the success rate of hiring commanders in diplomacy and increase the loyalty of planets. This is the currency. It's a common currency of the galaxy and mainly used for developing planets, applying policy, and building troops. Uh, a general term for all kinds of energy, food, and materials, mainly used to build and maintain troops. Okay, so it's just a generic bucket of stuff. And here, oh, it's got our good. It's got a breakdown and stuff on it. Okay, so next month we'll be up by 341. 802 here, and plus zero there. Okay. Um, diplomacy. You want to contact... Oh god, there's way too many things I can click on here. Uh, I guess I'm not doing diplomacy right now. Manage. Liz... Liz... Liz Howell? What are these? I guess that's the gold, prestige, and, and other stuff, I guess, is what the, those little bars are. Or maybe it's trade, industry, loyalty, defense. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the three means either. Oh, what's this? Oh, does three mean how many forts we have there? Because we have three space forts over here. What does that do? Replace. Oh. Oh, I see. So I'll invest in planetary trade. It will greatly improve the trade value next month. Invest in planetary industry. It will greatly improve the industry value next month. Improve the treatment of the people and increase the loyalty value. Strengthen the planetary defense forces. It will substantially increase the defense value next month. So I guess that's what it's telling me with the plus 10 here. And stuff. Maybe. Or maybe not. Should appoint a commander to be the governor. Do I have a commander? Okay. <laughs> commander data. I think, for some reason, I was just like, wait, Data's in this? <laughs> um, Metal skill, Scarlet Bride, Tactic skill, Volunteers. What does that, what does any of that mean? Jade was a sergeant of the Liaoyang defense troops. Her, her fiancé's tribute ship was surprised by the pirates, and he was killed. When the pirates began to raid uh, the Liaoyang, uh, Jade dyed her white wedding dress to red and called on Lao Yang defense troops to rise up and defeat the pirates. Okay, so she's a badass. Oh, here we go. Scarlet Bright. Damage the pirates plus 20%. Volunteers can be used in a battlefield when tactics slot is full. So, but if I... If I point these guys, do I no longer have them for my fleet? I'm not sure how this works. Legends AI. Units vision range plus 2. Quick repair. Hard Shell is, as the advanced intelligence AI provided by the Mosey Order to the North Sky Fleet, Hard Shell in integrates thousands of years of war, big data, and massive tactical intelligence. It has unparalleled judgment and retrieval capabilities. And Li Cheng Song writes. Lance Salvo, Lance Range. Um. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do that or not right now. Ports. Commerce zone. Defensive points. Defensive point. Hmm. I'm not even sure. Alright. I'm really not sure what to do. Um, 
I imagine I'm supposed to pick some sort of policy there, right? Because we'd want to get this going, I would think. More weapons. I'm going to get three months. Cost 5,000. Blueprint of an Imperial Battleship. Blueprint of an Iron Cavalry. Damage of Pyro Fashion Units plus 10%. Reorganized fleet, newly recruited warship level plus one, time of four months, 7,500. Uh, that's a lot. 5,000 are the other ones. Um, let's do more warships. There. Uh, personnel. A certain prestige to hire a commander. But I can't hire anyone yet. Um, that's three months up there. Special mission, destroy that. Uh, Alright, so I guess we're moving around here. So it looks like there's some pirates up there, I guess. Enemy, nearby enemy fleet or plant fortress to attack. Rests. Fleet details. What do we have here? Imperial flagship and wolf class battleship. What is this? Current lead points occupied by fleet units in the upper limit of fleet lead points. Lead point. I have no idea. Um, I guess uh, attack? No, we don't have one nearby, but we do have a pirate thing there. So can I just move them that way? Okay. Data, train. Oh, you can cancel out your move if you wanted to. Dismantling units, attack. Train. 367 supply, yes. Soldiers have gained a lot of experience. Cool. I want them to have as much experience as possible. Okay, you. Um, what is Yufang? Looks like. Is that un unaligned? Is that what that is? Mining zone. It probably is. And it looks like it would have some mining, which we don't have right now, so maybe we'll have her head towards that and try to take on some of these things. What's her fleet look like? It's got a Choco Nu and an Imperial flagship. Okay. Alright, let's train her. Screw up. Cool. Alright, you... Now who is this down here? What faction is this? I don't know what the yellow faction is. Let's say... It's the... Oh, that's saving. Um... I don't know who you are. Oh, I don't know. Um, anyway, I want to go to you, uh, and I guess I'll have you move down this way, and train, do it, okay, end the month. Lord Admiral said that the Imperial Court granted metal military the South Even Fleet, and the prestige of South Even Fleet increased. Lord Admiral, I heard that Kurashima pirates attacked Imperial Court for a truce, but was rejected by Imperial, or asked Imperial Court for a truce, but was rejected by Imperial Court. Okay. 
Financial situation not too serious, but Lord Admiral, please try to increase revenue and reduce expenditures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay to to play. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Um, over there, uh, and then yeah, I don't know what how big this fleet is, but I guess we'll rest. There. Or should I just train them more? I mean, why not? Train. Sure. It's only costed supply, and I got tons of supply right now. Though I say that, and I'll probably need it for something else. Train option. Lord Admiral said that the Lycurgus Corps has declared war on Amishi pirates. Sit on the mountain and watch the tigers fight. Okay. Which is not too serious. So we're paying some upkeep too. Um, that's alright. We still got positive numbers coming in though. Which is good. Heard that Ahila has joined the Imperial Court. From now on, Imperial Court may be like a tiger with wings added. Uh, I guess that was supposed to mean something. <laughs> oh, I'll take your word on that. Imperial Court is like tiger. Um. Well, let's try this and see what happens. Because I'm trying to figure out how this game works, so. Want to attack the, uh, the Mishi pirates? Yes. Well, you can auto-battle too, but no, I'm going to attack them. We start attacking Saizo Fleet. First defensive battle for... Okay. <laughs> Music sounds relatively familiar. It's like, it's like, uh, um, It's like Golden Axe is trying to start, but isn't quite making it. Alright, Li Cheng Song Fleet has arrived on the battlefield. It's good. It's good music. I, I'm, not, I'm not... It just it sounds very familiar. Um, class battleship. Let's focus. For the accuracy of the lance. Yeah. Okay. Face that way. Go this way. Rest and face that way. <laughs> Sounds a lot like it, even when it starts up. You space scan. Oh, I should be doing that. Me diving in until we found. Okay, use. Okay. Ooh, side attack. Or. He's attacking from the side. I can try to dodge. Ten percent. Or lance. Um. Lance does damage three hundred times two. The eighty percent hit chance. Um. That seems like the way to go. Ow. Ouch. Jesus. Wow, that hurt a lot. Do, 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 do. 
So I guess hitting him from the side is probably a good thing. Can I attack from diagonally? I don't think I can attack diagonally, can I? Probably not, I was going to say. So, let's attack. Cannon is t uh, 120 times 5, 60%. Basic hit, 80%. 300 times 2. How much does this... I don't even know how much hit points that guy has. Do the lance, I guess. Tell me how much hit... How many hit points he has. Is it the power? Toughness of the unit. I will reduce energy. I don't know... 192 times 3. I don't know how much. Oh, here. It, uh, is it power that does it? I have no idea what, how much hit points, how many hit points it has. Now, oh, let's do this. We've got 1350, huh? Wasn't too bad. Um, see, it's art. So power is definitely got to be the hit points. When your power is knocked out, that's it. So that's got to be what they're what they're talking about. Um. damage oh because they're putting a shield up um, once I've committed to doing an attack I can't change it that seems weird I need more information than what they're giving me you know what I mean like I need to be able to look at something and be like, here's all the here's all the information. I need to be able to back out of something and try something else. Um, so basically, I have 80% chance of hitting, but it's going to do absolutely no damage to them. I can't change my mind. Oh, here we go. Okay, right clicking backs you out of it. All right. Um. So if they're going to shield themselves, how do I know if they're going to shield themselves? Here's the data. New field. Uh, command. Missile. Missile. Okay, let's do... Let's, uh, kind of want to move him out of danger because he's taking a big hits here. Um, move over there. Attack. Move. Um, move up there. Attack. Cannon. There we go. Ninety percent chance, and we'll actually do some damage. You know they're gonna fire missiles at me.
But it would be really great if things would hit. Good, they only hit me once. Alright. Back attack, dodge. Yeah, definitely dodge. Well, that was fun. Just continue fighting on your own. It's sunk. Morale the remaining units is down. Great. Awesome. Engine failure. How did I get engine failure? When did I get engine failure? Come on. Nothing's gonna hit. Really? fight that yes I would like another chance at that <laughs> that's kind of BS and let's move you over here and you rest it's that way and up here radar they're going to be in the same spot. Nice dodging. Um, these guys. Let's do do the cannon. Twenty times five. Because we might have better luck. Because they probably have a lot of maneuverability. That's my thought on that. Oh my god. This game is bullshit. <laughs> Seriously. Like, what the frig, man. Um, get you out of there. And rest. 
facing that way. See if we can get you around here. Attack. Lance this way. Uh, no, actually, you know what? Attack them. Side attack. Oh, they're going to put a shield up. Well, I guess we're not attacking them then. Attack these guys. All that training too, and my guys just can't hit the broadside of a barn. Jesus Christ, these guys can hit anything. And my guys can't hit a damn thing. And I trained them up and everything and they can't hit a damn thing. It's gonna be one of these games where it's like, keep going behind them, keep going behind them. <laughs> Playing hopscotch constantly. Oh, come on. Really? Is the game not... Does the game not understand dice rolls? How dice rolls work? Like... That is... I mean, that... For an 80% chance of hit, that was nowhere near 80% chance of hit. Oh, for Christ's sake. And they're just hitting me like there's no problem whatsoever. Like they've got 100% chance of hitting. <laughs> what the frig? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Seriously, like... Uh, I mean, it says two hit. It says 80%. How is it that... 99% of my shots miss? <laughs> when I have an 80% chance to hit. down here now. Um, This shield is just bullshit. Again with that frickin' shield, really? Can't use my most powerful thing on it? I gotta use cannons?
Oh, come on. It can't. This is ridiculous. I can never use this weapon on them at all, ever. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. field then. There you go. Taste of their own medicine. Let's use the lance against these guys. Try to dodge. All right, well, let's do what we can here. There, we got him. Damn. Walker death. What the hell does that mean? idea. Okay. Uh, attack. Oh, I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any energy? You're freaking kidding me. Um... Come on. Really? They're just allowed to they're just allowed to one shot you. That is not good. <laughs> that is really not good. I mean, what else are you supposed to freaking do here? Because there's literally, there's nothing else going on in this sector, right? So, like, what... Oh, man. Because they're not going to move from their, from their spots. I get that, like, the game is like, well, you know, you're not supposed to take them on yet. But that's kind of, I don't know. It's it's doing it in the most BS way it can, right? It's like, it's like we're just gonna one shot you, and we're gonna we're gonna, um, you know, we're gonna hit 100% of the time. You're gonna hit 5% of the time. You know, we told you you have your hit percent is 80%. It's just that feels it feels like it's just broken, right? Like it feels like somebody did somebody carried a one in the wrong spot and now it's like you can't you can't get a, a decent attack in on anything. <sighs> Let's um go here. I kinda wanna try what are we on? Oh, we're on 50 minutes now? Okay. Well, I was going to try another run, but uh, 
No, I guess not. I guess we'll stop there. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not... To be fair, I'm not good at tactical games. I never really was. But, I mean... If your chance to hit is 80% and you're not hitting 80% of the time, something's wrong. Something's really, really wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're going, and I'm sure it'll give you some BS thing like, well, it's 80% on every shot, not 80% on all the shots. And I'm going to say that's stupid. <laughs> There's only one game that's allowed to pull that off, and that's XCOM, and that's because everyone has given them a pass on that. No one else is allowed to do that. Sorry. Um, but, <laughs> hey event. Hey event. Um, this looks like a really, really good game. I just, it needs, it needs a tutorial. It needs like some kind of, it needs a difficulty other than normal. I feel like, like if you're not going to do a tutorial, fine. Um, but give me a faction that's easy. Like everything was like normal difficulty and then it was hard and then impossible, right? It's like, if you're not gonna give me a tutorial, fine. Give me, give me one faction, just one faction that is like super easy. And let me go through the campaign with them and learn the ropes that way. I can learn how things synergize and all that stuff. I can learn the interface which is, you know, daunting to say the least. At least do that. At least do that. You know what I mean? If you're going if you're not going if you're just going to draw people right in there. Um, because at least then I can get I can get acclimated to the fact that 80% doesn't mean 80%. <laughs> I'm going to always be salty about that. Always. Always and forever. Um, but this, my friends, has been Chaos Galaxy. It is by Hanzu uh, uh, and others that I, I can't pronounce. Um, it is uh, coming out on Steam in June of this year. Uh, right now, this is the free demo you can download uh, and try it out for yourself. And hopefully, you'll have you'll be much more tactically minded. Uh, than I have been, uh, I would imagine. I, you know, this is one of those. This is one of those situations where I probably should have played a little bit before I start recording, um, just to get the hang of it. But you know, sometimes it's good to get like the very, very initial impression, and sometimes it's not because you know I'm sure that this game has. Sometimes you, you <laughs> there are some games I've run across where I've done a, like completely blank look at something and. Oh man, was I attacked <laughs> so much so <laughs> by all the fans. It's like, well, it's my first impression. That's what a first impression means. If you make a bad first impression, then that's, that's what it is. You know, what can I say? Um, but anyway, I, this is, uh, I still, I still think I would really like this game. And I think, uh, it's one of those where you just, I just need to kind of plug away at it and, try to figure it out but I really like what's here and I, I'm interested in uh, playing the full game or at least whatever is coming out in June I don't know if it's going to be early access or what but it's definitely something on my radar um, but uh, yeah uh, as always I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence thanks so much for watching everybody and I will see you next time